All right, so in this example, we have some properties here, A through F, that we're going to consider to sketch the graph of a function. So here's our function, f of x, and the properties that we're going to consider are the derivative of f is negative on this interval. And remember, a negative derivative means our function is decreasing. The derivative at 1 is 0. Remember, a 0 derivative means the function is essentially flat. It's not increasing or decreasing. The derivative is positive. Uh, for x greater than 1, so the function f will be increasing, and f of 1 is 1, f of 0 is 0, and then we have two limit conditions. As x goes to negative infinity, our function goes to 0, so there'll be an asymptote to the left at 0, and as x goes to infinity, our function goes to infinity, so the function just continually increases to the right. And we're also told that the derivative at 0 does not exist. All right. so here's how um, we could draw that. Now, I'm going to use uh, a red color to make some indications of some things that we know. So the first thing we know is that the derivative is negative between 3 and 0. So actually, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to put some marks on my axes. There's 1, 2, 3, and that's probably enough. There's 1, 2, and 3. There's negative 1 on the x-axis, negative 2, negative 3. Here's negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3 on the y-axis. Now, we are told that the derivative is negative between negative 3 and 0. So basically that means from about here over to here, our function is going to be decreasing. It has a negative derivative. We're also told that the derivative is positive greater than 1. So from about here on, the function is going to be increasing. So those two conditions are met. Uh, let's look at, at this one next. We're told some things about where the function is. I'm sorry, what the values of the function are. So f of 1 is 1. So this point is going to be on my graph f of 0 is 0, so this point is going to be on my graph. Next, I'm going to think about this one. The derivative at 1 is 0, so my function is going to be kind of flat right here. So I'm exaggerating that horizontal line so we can get a really clear indication of what's going on. Next, we're told that the derivative at 0 doesn't exist, so that means that we're probably going to have a sharp point right there. So the derivative can't exist at those sharp points. And then finally, the function is 0, excuse me, there's a asymptote at 0 in the negative direction, so the function is going to be kind of hugging this x-axis in the negative direction. And then here at negative 3, the function starts decreasing, so that means it's going to have to go up and then start going down once it gets to negative 3. So then it's going to match up with this corner point. Then it's going to pick up, and it's going to flatten out a touch, and then it's just going to be continually increasing forever because the derivative is positive for x greater than 1. And so that's how you could sketch a graph given some properties about the function and about its derivative. Now, I don't know exactly what this function is going to look like, um, but that doesn't matter. All I want is this general behavior. I um, mean, that's enough to answer a lot of questions about the function and even do some applications.